In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to add minimum and maximum indicators to spark lines. For this week's Makeover Monday, Ann Jackson produced this brilliant visualization. I really, really like what she did with these spark lines on the right hand side here. And I'm going to show you how to build that. I've connected to the same data set that Ann is using, which was for the European potato production. So the first thing I'm going to do is put country on the rows put year in the columns, and put the price on the rows. And I get a line for each country. To make them spark lines, well first off I'm going to hide my indicator. I'm going to go ahead and shrink these down. And then I'm going to drag this up. And just kind of get them just the size that I want. From here I'm going to double click on my axis, change it to independent and untick include zero, and hit OK. And there we go. Maybe I make them slightly wider. And then I'm going to go ahead and hide my header. All right, the last bit is to do a bit of formatting. So let me go ahead and get rid of the grid lines. And maybe I'll go ahead and get rid of the row and column dividers as well. OK, there we go. All right, sorry about that. <clears throat> so. The next thing I need to do is I need to put a, a dot on here for each, um, the minimum and maximum for each country. So to do that, I'm going to create a level of detail calculation. So first I'm going to call this minimum price. And what I want to do is I want to say if the price let's do, is equal to, and then I'm going to do a, create a level of detail calculation that says for each country, you can replace the word fixed with for each if it makes more sense to you return the minimum price. So if those two are equal, then give me your, the minimum, then give me the price. Otherwise, don't do anything. End. Hit OK. And then I'm going to drag that onto the secondary axis. Right click and synchronize. There we go. So you see for each country, I now have a dot on the minimum. So to get the maximum, I'm just going to duplicate that. Call this one maximum price, and all I need to do is change my minimum to maximum in my calculation. Hit OK, and I'm going to drag that on top of my right axis, my secondary axis. And you'll see I get two rulers. That's going to create a combined axis view. So I drag that on there, and then right click and synchronize. And now I've got dots for my minimum and my maximum. From here, I can go ahead and I'm going to change my colors. Oops, wrong thing there. I'm going to maybe make my, my EU prices maybe a light gray or a gray. And let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and set maybe the maximum to green and the minimum to, uh, or maybe let's do the maximum on a darker blue and a lighter blue, something like that. And then what I can do on my first line is just change the size of those and make them nice and small. All right. The last thing you see, this is a line right now. You could leave it like that, which is fine, but I'm going to go ahead and change it to circles so they stand out a bit more and then just shrink them down a bit. Maybe not quite that much. All right. So the last thing, I don't particularly like those colors, so I'm going to go ahead and change those. Let me pick a different color palette. I'm going to go down to my uh, potato palette. Maybe I'll set the maximum to... Uh, maybe this color, and the minimum to this color. Okay, I like that a bit better. All right, so there we go. So the last thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, go ahead and untick the show header. Uh, go ahead and hide the label for the countries. And then you see we got zeros for Estonia here, so I'm going to format and get rid of my zero lines as well. All right, so <clears throat> there you have it. So a real quick way to add minimum and maximum dots to a spark line. So I hope you found that helpful. Have a good day.